we want to solve the inequality and write the answer in interval notation. Notice how the inequality contains decimals, so we have the option of working with the decimals, or because the terms contain one decimal place or the tenths place value, we can clear the decimals by multiplying both sides by 10. Let's begin by clearing the decimals from the inequality. So multiply both sides by 10, so we'd have 10 times the quantity 0.7x plus 6.7 greater than 10 times the quantity 7.5 plus 0.8x. So now we'll distribute. When multiplying by 10, the shortcut is to move the decimal point to the right one place value. So 10 times 0.7x, or 10 times 7 tenths x, equals 7x, plus 10 times 6.7, or 10 times 6 and 7 tenths, equals 67, greater than 10 times 7.5, or 10 times 7 and 5 tenths, equals 75, plus 10 times 0.8x, or 10 times 8 tenths x, equals 8x. Now from here, we solve a linear inequality, just like solving a linear equation, except when multiplying or dividing by a negative, the inequality symbol must be reversed. So let's get the x terms on one side by subtracting 8x on both sides. Simplifying, this would be 0. So now we have 7x minus 8x. That's negative x or negative 1x. Let's just write negative x plus 67 greater than 75. Now let's isolate the variable term by subtracting 67 on both sides. Simplifying, this would be 0. So we have negative x greater than 75 minus 67 is equal to 8. We want to solve for x, not negative x. So we have the option of multiplying both sides by negative 1 or dividing by negative 1. In either case, though, we need to reverse the inequality symbol. So let's write negative x as negative 1x. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 1. Again, because we're dividing by a negative, we need to reverse the inequality symbol. So instead of greater than, it's going to be less than. And negative 1 divided by negative 1 simplifies to just 1x or x. And 8 divided by negative 1 is equal to negative 8. So our solution as an inequality is x is less than negative 8. Let's go ahead and graph this on the number line, and then we'll express the solution using interval notation. To graph x as less than negative 8, we make an open point on negative 8, because negative 8 is not in the interval, because it says x is less than negative 8, not less than or equal to negative 8. And then values less than negative 8 are to the left, so this is the graph of our solution. As we move left on the number line, we approach negative infinity. Recognizing this helps us write the interval using interval notation. The same interval using interval notation would be from negative infinity to negative 8. This is an open interval because it does not include negative 8 or negative infinity, which means we use a better parenthesis to the left of negative infinity as well as to the right of negative 8. If negative 8 was in the interval, we would use a square bracket to the right of negative 8 rather than a rounded parenthesis. So we've expressed our solution as an inequality as a graph and using interval notation, though this question only asked for the solution using interval notation or this form here. I hope you found this helpful.